be using the scientific method. Also known as, also known as frick around and find out. So, as far as a base block goes, I'm thinking yellow concrete, which is kind of a given because yellow terracotta is ugly. I will stand by this. I mean, seriously. Look at it. Honestly, terracotta in general sucks. Unless it's glazed, but that's a different matter, I suppose. Now, I think we will be starting with a design for the entrance, which I'm thinking a uh, bit of a little crescent sun. Well, like, obviously not a crescent sun, but like, uh, what do you want to call it? A setting sun. Yeah, that works. Sorry, is this? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which means one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, that's where the doors would be. And then we just kind of do this. I then proceed to struggle for a while. Because of course I do. All right. All right, well, this isn't exactly looking like a setting sun, it is sort of portrayed. Sort of. And I guess we could always try that. After struggling for a couple more minutes, I did eventually decide on a design. Alright, so we have semi-successfully managed to create an entrance. I'm not going to put in the doors until later, but those are probably going to be birch. Now... I think we should probably mark out about how big we want this to be, because I'm dumb and forgot to do that first. Which I am not actually going to show because I did end up deciding to use different dimensions. Now, I think I'm going to eat my words and use yellow terracotta. And I mean, I did, it's just not in the way I initially planned it. So I ended up filtering through some de designs. I used acacia wood at some point, used acacia logs. Yeah, no, it was, it was a mess. So I'm not gonna show any of that. Logic. But this is the design that I eventually came to for the entrance. So, like you guys saw, we have the little half sun entrance thing, and you go through a bit of tunnel to where the inside of the now deemed factory will be. We used the yellow terracotta up front for a bit of contrast between the sun and the walls, and then just normal terracotta, well, not normal terracotta, yellow concrete on the sides. And then for the uh, little pillars here, I guess I'll call them, I obviously used red clay. So, it's concrete now. Red concrete. So, uh, yeah, at the moment, this is looking like a glorified McDonald's. But hey, it looks kind of cool. So, who cares? Okay, so I built up the rest of the walls. 
Ah, uh, and I'm thinking maybe later I will edit this little sun here a little bit. But for now, I'm thinking that we want to work on the interior. Now, if I recall correctly, in the daycare there was some like dark bluish starry carpet. So I'm going to do my best to recreate that in Minecraft in here. And then I think we will build up a couple little mini games. Uh, maybe like a roller coaster around the edge as well. We'll see, but for now, the carpet. All right, so originally this wasn't what I was going to do. I was gonna try to put down some blue wool to give it like, so it was gonna be blue wool, um, some freaking end rods. That's what they're called. And then layers of black grass, but since this is a flat world, um, we can only go so far down, so, um, that didn't work. So, um, yeah, we have the blue wool with some sea lanterns, and for what else we're going to do, I think I want to start off over here with building a little little kids play section, you know, like how at, like, frickin' McDonald's there's those, um, Jungle gyms with like the netting and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna Frick around and find out with that And this is what I came up with so as is custom Small children who want to have fun are put into gremlin jail So you enter through here and there are a couple options one balance beam Two, you can come up here over this little tunnel thing, because I don't know, it's just like, you're over the entrance. It's fun. It's a high up place. Um, and then over here, you can come down to over here. You can jump down, whatever. Come back up. Go over here. Um, if you come up here, there is a rope bridge. Um quotation marks. You can jump down from there. You can also, you know, just come down the ladder and boing. So yeah, that is the small children's uh, play area. Although, I mean, I guess older kids could play here too. Really, it's just it's a kid's play area. <laughs> what do you want from me? So, next up, I'm thinking I want to build... Actually, I think I want to build the little roller coaster I mentioned, like, just around the walls so that I can, like, insert the mini games uh, around it, I guess, instead of it around the mini games, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna build the roller coaster. Um, and then we're gonna put in mini games. And then we're going to make like little confessions booths. booths. Confessions. Concessions! I said confessions. This isn't this isn't church. They don't they don't have to confess their sins to get food. Uh so yeah. I'm gonna do that. And I will see you once it's done. So, I've built the roller coaster. Um, I might want to eventually think of a better way to power it than like uh, the redstone torches being all exposed. Um, but at the moment, it is what it is. So, yeah, that's the roller coaster. And now I think that we're going to get started on actually the concession stands. I want to put a little concession stand in this corner. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that and I will be right back. All right. So I have, in fact, put in two little concession stands over here. And I've also started to get a better feel for what I want this place to look like. But, um... 
So over here we have two butchers, um, mostly for the rabbit stew and the cooked pork chop in this case, cooked chicken in that place for like, I don't know. We can pretend to their corn dogs, I suppose. And then here we have farmers as they sell, you know, the most food. And then over here in this corner, we have much the same thing except all farmers and one of them even has cake. I killed a baby in front of them though, so they are incredibly annoyed at me at the moment. So yeah, next though, I do think I want to put a couple mini games over here, I think. So I think in the grand scheme of things, there's going to be mini games over here, a bigger jungle gym in like the center-ish area. Well, half of it's gonna be jungle gym, half of it's going to be an ice skating rink. I think that's how it's going to play out, but we shall see, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get on to the mini games. All right, so I have designed a couple mini games. Exactly three, to be precise. But first up, we have archery prizes. Um, so you grab a bow, some arrows, if this is in survival, but we're in creative, so who cares? So you just aim and you get a prize. I got a golden apple. So I'm going to put that back just for old time's sake, grab that, and let's move on to guess the button, where basically you have to guess the correct button and you will get a prize. And then last but not least, and probably the easiest, although all of these are pretty easy, we have ball toss. And then there are some instructions here. Um, Shit. Yeah. I did not think that through. Hmm. <laughs> so, hmm. I'll be back in a minute to explain this game after I have this fixed. Okay, so it was actually a pretty easy fix. I just had to move the leather lever farther away. But, so... To make, well, to play the game, I suppose, the lever has to be facing towards the dispenser. You grab some slime balls. Then you just kinda. Oops. Bam. And you get a prize. And then to go collect the balls, you flip the leather lever and you go get it. Pretty simple. So yeah, those are the mini games I designed. And now I think I want to build an ice skating rink. Um, after that, we'll see what I want to do with the rest of the space we have. Um, because we definitely have a lot of space and we definitely haven't used much of it. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I've said so a lot. Huh. Ooh, maybe I could make some trampolines. So, uh, as you can see here, um, while I did, you know, put in the ice rink, I also kind of finished the entire thing. Oops. But, so, here... With the ice rink, we have the stairs border, because I said so. Then there's some sun pixel art underneath the ice, because, you know, this whole thing is themed around sun drop here. So, you know, it's a sun. Um, it's not very visible, though. Um, so, yeah, this is my formal petition for Mojang to add, like, dyed ice into Minecraft. Because... Like, what's the point if you can't make patterns with ice? There is none. None at all. Okay, anyways, moving on. I also added in this, this trampoline here because, I mean, trampolines are 
fun. You can you can bounce. You do the bounce. You have fun. It's great. So honestly, that's all I really needed to add for the inside. Um, obviously, I put on the roof and did some lighting. But I mean, other than that, it's really all that we needed to do to finish up the inside. As far as the outside goes, I did make the sun look a lot better. Um, and then there's just some redstone on the roof to power the lighting on the inside. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing as it really helps out the channel. Um, you know, other than that, like, comment, have a good day, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!